up guys it's jay here back with another video so today's a bit of a short video because today i want to quickly show you guys what we'll be getting with the 275 pounds to help tremendously with the gotham mark so you guys thought oh he's pissing about he's not actually gonna do the gotham mark he hasn't got that much money he's not gonna be able to do it what the fuck are you saying now because we are actually in the process of buying this and getting it ready so the first step of buying is of course the iconic one the one that has the most sentimental value and nostalgia to me um, my dad bought me this ages ago. I haven't, of course, got the box version, or I haven't even got the version of, I haven't, I haven't got it yet, still. But a uh, box, I, I want to get all of these boxed to so their mint condition, so we have them brand new, premium, just for you guys, your guys' entertainment. And, of course, our building experience will be a lot more nicer if it's boxed. So that's the first one, which is the Two-Face Chase. This set looks really nice. Box really good condition. Apart from we've got, like, a few little white lines on the corners, but that's expected. You know, these sets were made, like, what, six years ago? Next, we have the Batman uh, Battle Over Gotham. This one's quite good. It's for a, re for a remake of a set that came earlier. This one's really good. Not the best set out of all of them. See, there's a bit of creasage on the box, but again, perfect box in my opinion. I'm not really like a box fanatic. I don't go around collecting the boxes. I don't really care about them. I just want to get them boxed for these sort of things. Then next, we get in Power Armor Lexus, one of my favourite sets, man. I love this one as well. I remember opening this on Christmas Day and thinking, oh my god, I love this set. I took it into Show and Tell. I don't know if you Americans or not have Show and Tell in uh, their school, but in the UK schools, we had Show and Tell. I used to bring this in for Show and Tell. It was, I love playing with all my friends. All my friends had their sets as well. We used to play with them. It was amazing. But uh, yeah, so this one's a really, really cool one. It holds a lot of nostalgia and value to me as well. And I love this one. It just looks so cool. Get, you know, the two Superman, Wonder Woman, and Lex Luthor minifigure. So, three minifigures that I need in the mock. Perfect. This set's, like, literally just only... All of it's going to be going into the mock. Uh, this one, these two... So, all of these three, all of the figures will be going into the mock. And then we start getting onto the sets where most of the figures won't be going into the mock. So, this Mr. Freeze or the Snowy Batman will not be going into the mock. Unless there's a Snow Batman suit that I can't remember that's in the game. Because, of course, we'll be getting the old Mr. Freeze. The Aquaman will go in this. The only reason I'm buying this set is because Aquaman and the Bat Boat. So, uh... Yeah, but uh, Connor, Connor really wants the Mr. Freeze because Mr. Freeze is his favourite villain, so we're going to give Connor the Mr. Freeze because, you know, I'm like, uh, uh. And next, we've got a little treat for me. So, if you guys didn't know, my favourite uh, villain is Scarecrow. So, we have this set right here, Scarecrow's Harvest of Fear. So, this set comes with a bunch of many figures we need in, this, in the mock, like the uh, uh, Killer Moth. I already have a Killer Moth, but not with that helmet. I got the one from the CMF series, which wasn't that great. I then realised later I needed the one for the helmet. Because, of course, that's what he has in the game. So, of course, we've got the helmet one. We've got Blue Beetle. I said, Connor, he can have Blue Beetle. Don't really need him. We've got a lovely Batcopter that we can definitely use in the game. Because he definitely has a Batcopter somewhere. We have a Harvester of Fear, which means we can definitely use that as well. In, like, I don't know, in the streets or something like that. Um, and then we also have, like, like I said, a Scarecrow. Uh, this Scarecrow will be going towards my collection. So, I'm trying to build a collection of Scarecrow minifigures. So, I have every single one of them. Because Scarecrow is my favourite villain. So, that's the only reason I'm buying this set as well. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the haul. That is £290 for how many sets? One, two, three, four, five. Not bad, if you ask me. So, the 275 obviously, if we go over to my calculations real quick, I have got to spend two, 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 tw £22 of my own money to buy the postage, which, I mean, is fair. Let's be honest, it's fair. Uh, my mum's already forking out 275 so that's perfect for, you know, that. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. How do I get?